Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and the bestest good boy in the world has finally become a rideable mount for the patch 10-2-6. Tyvan, the friendly Bakar, hound from the Maruk Center Village, can finally be obtained as a riding reward by completing a long and lengthy questline that has to finish out all of the content that's available in Dragonflight. Everything is included in this one, from exploration of rares and treasures, to bolstering your standing with major factions, completing every major and minor quest and storyline, as well as finishing out your raids and dungeons. In today's video, I wanted to go over all of the steps that you need to take to get your Dragonflight completionist achievement and unlock Tyvan, the very first Bakar mount of Dragonflight. This is a long process, however, so don't expect to have this one completed in a day or two. This achievement will take a long time and a bit of effort, so pace yourself out if you do decide to embark on this journey. And if you need help keeping a track of all of your achievements, the website of wowtrack.gg is a fantastic tool that I found recently that will keep your whole entire completionist journey a bit more organized. All you gotta do is sign in with your Battle.net account and it tracks your entire progress. This tool is still a little bit of work in progress, but it does help you get quite a bit of extra additional general organization and assist in keeping you on track and focus on the next objective during your long arduous journey. But right before we get into the Tyvan guide video, most of you guys watching these are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight 10.25 or any future updates for patches like 10.26 or the War Within Alpha. First, let's go over some of the easier raid and dungeon achievements, starting off with Complete Vault of the Incarnates, Aberus Raid, and the Emergency Raid. Completing the Vault of the Incarnates and the Aberus Raid might be a little bit more difficult currently. However, after a few weeks until the patch 10.26, we will see a launch of Season 4 which is where we will see the return of all three raids during that season, which will make completing Vault of the Incarnates and Aberus a little bit easier. As for the Emergency Raid, you can actually take care of that right now, currently in Season 3. You can finish the raid on any of the four difficulties, including Normal and LFR, which also count. Next, we have Myths of the Dragonflight Dungeons, where you have to complete the eight base Dragonflight Dungeons on Mythic difficulty. And I think doing it right now in Season 3 before Season 4 is actually the easiest way to do it. Especially since during weekly dungeon events, which is out next week by the way, there's a lot of people out there in LFG looking for groups to finish up Mythic Zero dungeons. And with this many people queuing up, you should be able to get all of these dungeons done all in a single week. Next we have the Lore Master of the Dragon Isles, which is an achievement where you have to do all of the main story quests and even the side quests of every one of the Dragonflight zones. There's a good chance that you have done a majority of these throughout your leveling journey the first time around through the Dragon Isles. And there's a pretty good chance that you've done majority of the side quests also while trying to get a little bit extra XP on the side. If you were to retrace your steps and follow the main quest lines for each of these zones, you should be able to spot some of these side quests along the way. However, if you do get lost, there's always Wowhead or the WowTrack GG website that we mentioned earlier in the video that should help you orient yourself around the quest lines. Next achievement is Friend of the Dragon Isles, where you need to complete the renowned story campaigns as you advance through all of the different renowned ranks with the original four Dragon Isle factions. Getting these quests out of the way as soon as possible is also pretty important since quite a few other quest lines as part of this full completionist achievement will be reliant off of the renowned story chapters also. However, if you find yourself behind on some of the renowned ranks for all of the major factions, you can always utilize the quests and dailies in the Forbidden Reach to get your renowned catch up just a little bit quicker. The next achievement is called Dragon Quest, where you have to complete some of the bigger major side quests of this expansion. These are not as big as some of the major story quest lines for each of the zones, but do dive into some of the different characters and different stories of the different zones of the Dragon Isles, like a Blue Dawn, which shows the reformation of the Blue Dragonflight, which you can begin at Caligos. The A New Beginning quest line can be started in Thaldrazis around the Water Fountain area. In Tears Footsteps is a story quest line from the first season of Dragonflight. First, you have to swing over to the other side of Thaldrazis, where a player would initially craft the very first spark of inspiration during Season 1. Look out for the goblins hanging out by the Titan console to begin those story chapters. The quest chain for Off Tears Guard is going to be kind of more involved. 
First, you must finish the Valdraken Accord Renown quest in order to restore the Silver Scale, which will help unlock the questline that allows you to reforge the Tears Guard. Only then can you begin the actual questline required for this achievement at the Tears Guard headquarters found near Tearhold. Active listening skills is going to be the Rebel Dragonkin story questline, which starts out initially with Alexstrasza atop of the big tower in Valdraken. But just like the Tears Guard questline, this one also has a few prerequisites along the way. Finally, for the Fringe Benefits achievement, you need to complete daily quests with the Bronze Dragonflight in Eon's Fringe. And you'll find Eon's Fringe located right next to the Bronze Dragonflight Temple. For the next achievement, titled Oh My God, The Work Clutchmates, you'll need to achieve the highest standing with every major faction and character of this expansion. This includes reaching maximum renown with every major faction available but also reaching Legend of the Multiverse rank with Sorodromi with the Time Warp event in Teldrazas, but also reaching maximum friendship with both Rathian and Abyssian through Citadel quests and activities. You also need to reach the rank of Esteemed with the Artisan Consortium, which is the faction that handles all of the work orders. And depending on your professions chosen, they'll have a weekly quest lane for you to complete in order to gain additional rep. You also need to reach maximum rep with the Colbat Assembly by simply killing things and looting it in the Colbat Assembly area. You also need to reach 100 skill with the Winterpeld language, but first you must unlock the activity that allows you to learn the Winterpeld Furball language. To do so, you first need to head over to Theron's Watch and Camp Nowhere to begin some of the quest lines that has you interacting rather violently with a lot of the local Furbolgs. After you complete both of them, you'll unlock a questline that allows you to start mending relations with that faction, unlocking their language slowly over time and gaining access to their new Quartermaster as well as other vendors. The next achievement is the Pathfinder achievement, which a huge majority of you have been playing Dragonflight would have unlocked by now. For Pathfinder, you need to explore all of the zones, do the main questline, and then afterwards you can normally fly, not just Dragon Ride, atop of any kind of mount you want within the Dragon Isles. Across the Isles is the next achievement that needs to be unlocked. For this one, you basically need to complete every single zone of the Dragon Isles, which includes farming a ton of different open world quests and even other daily activities. Things like completing 100 tasks for the Grand Hunts, or completing 100 tasks within the Community Feast, defeating the Jardin at the Dragon Bay Keep, and completing a variety of zone-specific objectives, which will vary depending on the zone. Some of the parts of this achievement will have you interacting with certain NPCs. So if you utilize add-ons such as NPC Scan or TomTom, Wowhead will have the coordinates you need in order to help you complete some of these zones. The next achievement on the list will be You Know How to Reach Me, which is a completionist achievement for the zone of the Forbidden Reach. To unlock the zone if you haven't done so already, you'll need to do a small questline which begins at the Seat of the Aspects, the massive tower at the top of Valdraken where Alexstrasza, Caligos, and the Zorma would normally be hanging out in. As part of this achievement, you'll need to explore the entire zone, complete the main story of this area, dive into the Zakara vaults and unlock all of the doors, collect a variety of books and journal entries which Wowhead has a guide for, especially if you use the add-ons like TomTom, as well as all of the treasure locations and special encounters. The next achievement is going to be very similar to the Forbidden Reach, but with the Zerolek Caverns Zone, where you need to complete the entirety of that zone with exploration, the main story quests, as well as unearthing some of the fragments from the public events, as well as the Niffin Sniffin explorations, and find all the rare treasures and encounters within the zone. The second to last achievement will be Dream On, which just like Zerala Caverns and Forbidden Reach, you have to complete the entire zone of Emerald Dream. Though unlike the other zones, this one is much smaller in scope. You have to find all of the different known locations to plant seeds, find all the hidden treasures, do the main story, explore the zones, and participate in the Super Bloom, and obtain a epic reward from the Super Bloom, which right now is pretty easy to do with still so many players trying their hand at farming out the Farak Legendary. The final achievement for this list will be now this is Dragon Racing, which is going to be an achievement where you have to find all the flying glyphs in every one of the zones, which most of you guys have done if you were trying to maximize your movement within the Dragon Isles. But also you need to complete all of the races within Dragon Isles. You need to complete the normal, the advanced, and the reverse version of these races. You don't even need to do them quickly either. The minimum you need in order to complete these races is a bronze medal, which is fairly easy to achieve for a large majority of players. 
And with everything else completed, you should have access to a brand new Mount of Taven, as well as the Dragonflight Completionist achievement. Definitely one of the lengthiest achievements ever so far in Dragonflight, so don't try to do everything you can all in a single setting. It's most recommended to make little goals out of this achievement and complete little parts of the achievement journey one at a time and try to pace yourself as best as possible. But with that, that's going to be the guide on how to unlock Taven as a mount. I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching this video and I hope all of you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.